space, and it is to live in a nice, comfortable bed. These were the game leaders. Yes. They belong to certain prison gangs, the 28, the 26, the B5, and the Air Forces. And some of the political prisoners were mixed, you know, with these people knowing very well that here you cannot preach politics. Prisoners are hungry. Prisoners, they need money, they need this and that. And then when you come to preach politics, they won't listen to you. Unless you have most of the inmates who are here for political reasons. But surprisingly, Mandela, when he spoke to other inmates, they listened. Mm -hmm. You know, we have different gifts. I can speak, people won't listen to me. But then Mandela, when he spoke, prisoners, they gathered together and then they listened to him. I remember in 2003, Mandela was interviewed because he was um, invited you know, to come and see the highest court. They asked him, were you uh, um, allowed to sit with other inmates and chat? He said, no. When the inmates were outside in the courtyard, I will be inside. When the inmates you know, were inside, I will be outside. But one day, they allowed him to sit and chat with other inmates. And then he said, that's when I realized that this is the mistake that was made by the South African government to put all political prisoners in one roof. They said to him, why are you saying that? He said, it makes things easier for me. For instance, I realized that there were people who were arrested during the Sharpeville massacre. Mm -hmm. Police shot and killed 69 people in Sharpeville for burning their passes. Mm -hmm. There were people who were arrested and the students during the uprising. So he said, I called everyone to come and sit together. And then I told them that this is now the time. We need to defeat this government. They listened. Mm -hmm. And he said, I did not say, you are here because of the political you know, reasons. I called everyone, those who stole, those who killed, and by the time I was transferred to Pretoria Prison, I had many followers who joined ANC, mm -hmm. and they didn't see it coming, mm -hmm. you know? So these people, they were here because they committed petty crime. You don't have your passport, you go to prison. They place you here, you realize that in order for me to last for five days, I have to fight every day. So it happened that someone, you are fighting with someone, and then you ended up killing that person. To other inmates, you are a boss. So you are going to rule all these people. That is why the gang leaders, you know, they had a nice, comfortable bed. These ones, they were called the lieutenants. Lieutenants, you must be tall, you must be bold, you must have that scary face. So that when the newcomers enter here, you jump quickly and say, give me money, give me cigarette. You don't have those things, you start punching those prisoners. You start taking their blankets. That is why they are sleeping like sardines. You see, their blankets were taken away from them. These two here, they were vulnerable prisoners. They didn't have money, don't know how to make money in prison. They didn't want to join any prison gangs. That is why they were made to sleep next to the toilets. If the buckets were full, they would be told to empty the buckets and clean them. Mm -hmm. And when the toilets were installed, it was a problem. 60 prisoners using one toilet, it kept on blocking. And these prisoners would be told that the toilet is blocking, do something about it, which means they must put their hands inside and try to unblock the toilet. So when you treat <coughs> prisoners like animals, they will behave like oh, animals yeah, you know, yeah. to other inmates. So the whole prison was closed in 1983 because of overcrowding, because of the diseases. So this place was neglected and vandalized. So this place was only saved by the judges when they were looking for a space to build the highest court in the land. So they chose this prison just because of its history, just because of our heroes and sheroes who took part in the struggle, just because some of the justices 
they were kept here before they were transferred to Roman Island. Mm -hmm. Today they are working here as judges to defend and claim their dignity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from here we are proceeding to the next cell which is called Who is the Criminal? <coughs> So the exhibition was designed by the former inmates. Some of them, they are still alive. Mm -hmm. They are very lucky to be able to. 